we have our video list and we may want to embed our videos, right? So we might want to embed them, let's say from YouTube. So the natural thing might be to go to YouTube, go to the embed section, copy that embed, and then just throw it in here. So if I put comma and say embed and use ticks, so a tick on the outside, a tick on the outside, um, that will give me a embed URL, okay? So I can paste these in, save it, and then once we do that, I'm gonna jump back into my video list. I'm actually gonna change this P tag to a div tag, um, and it has to do with what we're about to do, which is item.embed. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm also gonna get rid of these conditional statements because we really don't need that anymore. I just wanna clean this up a little bit. So I've got item.embed and everything loads fine. If I go back into my app, I see that it's not actually showing my like embed, right? It's just showing the text for it. So this is okay, but it's not actually what we want. So what I can do here is say div and then do something called inner HTML equals to, and in this case, I can just do item dot embed. Notice I don't need the curly brackets because when I use these brackets, that's an angular related, so I can get rid of my curly brackets. So this is actually coming off of an object. So if I close that off um, and save it, then come back in here, it's still not showing up, right? The other text is, but the actual video is not. So we can actually test out that inner HTML by doing div and we could say inner HTML and we'll put it equal to single quotes on the outside, double quotes on the inside, and I'll just say h1 high there um, and then close off that h1 and then close off that div. Okay, so we save that and notice that high there actually renders. Now, of course, this is just a string inside here, so if I cut that out and just said some item, uh, that is an object, so I would have to set it as some item here in order for it to work, right? So you need those double quotes if you wanna put something else inside of there. That's essentially how that's working. So it's kind of going off of one of these items here. Now, we still need to address this item.embed. It's not actually working. So there's a couple things that I wanna point out. Um, one of them being that the embed itself, the actual text for the embed itself is coming through and it's the exact same. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that whole thing again and bring it into the actual component. So I'm gonna paste it in here and let's go ahead and take a look at this. On every YouTube video, this is what it looks like, right? This is this is how the embed looks. Um, it's just the only difference is the ID here. So if I change this, this is what I actually wanna change. So I'll put in here item.embed. That's what I'll actually put. So the embed itself then means that I'm going to change all of this to just being the item ID. And I can scroll over and I see that this is the actual item ID right there. Uh, another hint of that, if you go to YouTube itself, the item ID is gonna be at the end of this right here. And it's also in watch where it says V and then up to the ampersand there. So that is also the item ID. So just another quick little thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other embeds. And actually the last one, I'm gonna leave empty for a reason. Okay, so we save that. And um, I'm just gonna leave it as an empty string actually. Or, or well, you could say null too, that's fine. Uh, okay, so um, we leave it in there. And now we've got this new sort of embed style. And I go back in here and doesn't seem like it's working. If I go into console, it says unsafe value used in resource URL. So basically it's saying that I can't do this. That's what it's saying. So SRC is the problem. So if I put it in brackets, save it, still the problem, right? It's still not actually letting me do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is instead of that, I want all of this to be safe. So I want it to actually generate something really good for me. So. I'm gonna bring it back into brackets and I'll say, and I'll cut this out and I'll do get embed URL. That's what I'll call it, get embed URL. So back into my component, I have to create that function. So get embed URL and it's gonna return 
something. In this case, I have a string here that I can return. I return that string and I refresh, still not working, right? Because it's unsafe, it's considered unsafe. So there's something I can do to this and that is import and it's dom sanitizer from and it's at angular slash platform browser. So this dom sanitizer is what we're actually gonna be using here. Dom sanitizer, little spelling error there, okay. And now what we wanna do, since we have this, I have to implement it in my constructor. So I'll use private sanitizer. And that's my dom sanitizer. So in this, I can just say literally this.sanitizer.bypass trusted resource URL and put that into a quote, save it. And now what do you know? My videos come through. So if I go ahead and play it, I've got an e error in the actual video itself because look at, here's what I did. So what I actually need to do is do item. I'm gonna pass the actual item through here. And then from this, I will come in and do plus item.embed plus that single quote. So I'm gonna pass the item in this get embed URL. We go back into that list. So I'm gonna put the item here as in this item, this item and this item. We save that, we come back and there we go. So now that actual video is loading um, just fine. Okay, so a couple things that we did here that is important to note. Number one, putting brackets into source means that it's similar to like what we did with inner HTML. It's very similar to that where it actually calls something inside of the component class. And in this case, I called a actual function. So you can actually call functions inside of the template. That's huge if you're coming from something like Django, but you can call the template inside of here and you can pass arguments in it. In this case, we pass the argument of item. Of course, if this was something else like ABC, I would have to just change all instances of item and have it go through. Now I did have one like actual embed, like this one at the bottom, that isn't showing up. So this is where ngif comes in, ngif item.embed, then it will actually go through, ooh, in this case, abc.embed, it will actually go through. And then now at the bottom, there's only two videos that are rendering. Of course, this, this is like set up to be responsive, so it looks a little better if I break it down. But um, for the mo most part, this is actually working the way it should. So we also learned that, oh, look, I can write my own methods. Now on ngInit it is a method. So you can still kind of see that these aren't much different, except in this case, uh, get embed URL has to be called by you. ng on init is called when that view comes up or, or when this component is first called, like in the route. So um, that's it for bypass security trusted resource. Something I will say though is, there's a really good chance that I might wanna use something like this again. And that means that I'm gonna create something called a pipe. And that's what we'll do in the next one. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.